At the climax of the 2004 film Mean Girls, Lindsay Lohan's character, Katie, is asked to find a limit. A win for her school's mathletes team hangs in the balance. The problem is as follows. The limit as x approaches zero of the natural log of one minus x minus the sine of x all over one minus the cosine squared of x. After thinking about what she learned in her calculus class, Katie eventually responds with the correct answer, which is that the limit does not exist, and her team wins. Let's talk about why this limit does not exist. One way to evaluate a limit is by looking at the graph of the associated equation. The graph of y equals the natural log of 1 minus x minus the sine of x all over 1 minus the cosine squared of x looks like this. When evaluating the limit as x approaches 0, you want to focus on the part of the graph where x equals 0, and in this case, from the left, the graph is increasing and appears to be approaching positive infinity, whereas from the right, the graph is approaching negative infinity. The only way that a limit can exist is if the graph is approaching the same point from both sides. In this case, that is not the case, so the limit does not exist. As Katie puts it in the movie in her internal dialogue, if the limit never approaches anything, aka if the limit does not approach the same point from both sides, then the limit does not exist. Another way to evaluate a limit is through the use of a table of values. What that means is that we're actually going to plug in numbers for x that get closer and closer to zero, that approach zero from below and from above. When inserting numbers for x that are less than zero but getting closer and closer to zero, what you see is that the closer a negative number or a number smaller than zero gets to zero, the bigger that number becomes. On the other hand, when inserting numbers that are greater than zero and getting closer and closer to zero, those numbers become smaller and smaller. These numbers are not approaching the same value from both sides of zero. And because of that, the limit does not exist. This is what was shown in the graph as well. If the value of f of x is not approaching the same number from above and below zero, that implies the limit does not exist. As is the case for most problems in mathematics, there are multiple ways to solve this problem, including some that haven't been shown in this video. Regardless of the method used, you will always find that the limit as x approaches zero of the natural log of one minus x minus the sine of x all over one minus the cosine squared of x does not exist.